What's up team? Let's jump right into how to kettlebell swing. Great exercise, super easy to butcher and mess up. Let's make sure we dial in technique and form and really lock in on these three steps. Step number one is going to be starting out nice and simple with the kettlebell hike. The kettlebell hike allows you to learn how to distribute weight in your body, more importantly in your feet, when you're moving the kettlebell from front to back. So I'm gonna demo from the side here. So we start with the kettlebell deliberately out in front of us, tip the horn of the kettlebell. So the horn, we have the bell and the horn. Tip that bell, I'm sorry, the, the horn down, drag it into and toward the body using the lat muscle. So I'm engaging and pulling down and back into my body. From here, I'm not going to come up or down at all. What I wanna have happen is you're gonna look at my knees my hips and my shoulders, they shouldn't rise at all. Rather, they should be going forward and backward, moving about a centimeter to an inch at tops, but we don't want to rise up. We're just hiking back and forth. So I'm here and it's gonna be, notice how the bell's in front, my hips sit back and vice versa, all right? I'm not coming up, notice that, I'm not coming up. It's strictly forward, back, forward, back. You feel a lot of hamstring tension, a lot of glute tension, that's what we want, we want to pre-tension the hammies and glutes for the eventual swing. Now that's the hike. When we go to the second step, the second step is the kettlebell swing, but specifically it's a single rep. The reason I like this is because it teaches you how to produce power with one swing and then reposition re back to the bottom. That's important because what happens when people go from not doing kettlebell swings at all to all of a sudden doing a ton of kettlebell swings, continuous effort, so repetitive motion, swing, swing, right, for X amount of reps, 10, 20, 30 reps, what happens is technique goes out the window. We wanna keep technique at the top, the most important priority. So single reps are awesome to help you do that. So I'm gonna hike it the same way I just did it. You'll see as the kettlebell comes behind me and I hike it back under my legs, I'm gonna rise up, I'm gonna swing. At the top of the swing, it should look like I'm at the top, I'm in a plank position with my entire body, right, instead of my hands being here, though they're gonna be out in front. But this should look nice and tall and firm. I shouldn't be bending at the knees at the top, I shouldn't be bending or arching at the back or the hips. It should be nice and tall as if I'm in a plank. Foot position is typically around a hip width stance, similar to if you're deadlifting a barbell, a trap bar, or what have you, okay? So same thing here. Last piece is at the top, we don't want perfectly straight arms. We want slight bend in our elbows, but we don't want T-Rex arms, right? So it's not super straight, not T-Rex arms. Right in the middle with a slight bend in the elbows, I should be able to see just above the kettlebell uh, in front of me, okay? So a single rep. Notice how I start the same way I finish and vice versa. Nothing is sloppy here, that's intentional. We wanna really dial in technique. So you can program single reps for maybe three to five reps and I'll show you what that looks like. Now the bottom of the rep when you're doing a single rep is going to look squatty in nature with a little bit more knee bend than typical. When we do the third step, which is right now, we're gonna do the, just the traditional kettlebell swing for reps now. So however many reps you want, let's, for the sake of this video, we'll do five reps in a row. You'll see that first rep, I'm essentially getting the kettlebell out of the hike position into my floating state or flow state, and then I go from there, okay? So it turns more into this horizontal pattern, okay? The additional bonus thing here is once you're doing kettlebell swings for reps, the key, the trick really, is let the kettlebell be in charge, right? Don't try to muscle it, don't force it, don't try to swing it. Once you have enough momentum on that thing, it's like a pendulum. You need to, you need to move your body around it as it's going in this direction. That, that, its job is to do this. You wanna extend the hips to produce force to bring it through to help keep that kettlebell going the same way as if I'm going to push you on a swing, right? You extending the hips and producing power through the hips is like someone just continuing to push you on, on the swing set, okay? We don't want to overpower or try to muscle through it. It should be nice and even keeled. 
and in flow state. At the top of your rep, you should be able to exhale and breathe and maybe even say a word. If you're really strenuous and tight and, and, and too rigid, you're overdoing it. So relax as much as you can. So here we go. We got five reps of a kettlebell swing for reps here. So we're here. Same thing. Finish the same way, the same exact way that we start. And that is how to kettlebell swing. 